Companies of all sizes are spending more money on ads on Amazon. The cost of advertising has gone up by 30% since the beginning of the year and by over 50% compared to last year. To do well, you have to find new ways to stand out and one way is to make the most out of uh, customer lifetime value and customer acquisition cost. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I will tell you everything about Amazon customer lifetime value and customer acquisition cost and how it helps you grow your business. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. So before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Customer lifetime value is a way of figuring out how much a customer is worth to a business over their whole time as a customer. It helps businesses understand how to get the right customers, spend their money wisely and make their marketing better. Most businesses make most of their money uh, from just a few of their customers. So it's really important to know which ones are worth more than others. This helps you improve your CLV. To work out CLV, you look at how much uh, money a customer brings in on an average and how much profit they make for the business. CLV gives you important information about how customers are dealing with your business and if your marketing plan is doing what it should. On the other hand, customer acquisition cost is a way to figure out how much money a company spends to get a new customer. Uh, to find it, you divide the total amount spent on marketing and sales by the number of new customers gained in a certain time period. For example, if a company spends $100,000 on marketing and sales in a month and gets 500 new customers, its CAC is $100,000 divided by 500, which is equal to $200. CAC is important because it shows how efficiently a business is spending its money to get customers. A low CAC means the company can get customers without spending too much and uh, make more money. But a high CAC means the company is spending a lot to get customers, which cut, uh, cuts into its profits. So the industry a company is in affects its CAC. Different industries have different levels of competition, what customers expect, how often they buy, and how long they stay with the company. So the average CAC can vary a lot from one industry to another. For example, in online shopping, the average CAC is usually between $45 and $50, but uh, small businesses might spend around $20, while big companies like Amazon might spend around $150 to uh, $180 for each customer. On the other hand, in highly competitive industries like electronics or beauty products, companies might spend over $200 for each customer. No matter the numbers, it's smart for online stores to keep their CAC low to grow steadily in the long run. One important number that online shops look at to see how well they are doing is called the CLV to CAC ratio. It's the comparison between how much money a customer brings in over their whole time as a customer and how much it costs to get that customer. So this ratio shows how profitable the business is, how much it can grow and how healthy it is overall. To get the ratio, you divide the CLV by the CAC. For example, let's say the average CLV for a business is $1,000. That means on an average, each customer brings in $1,000 in profit during their whole time with the company. Now, let's say it costs $300 to get a new customer for that business. Here's the CLV to CAC ratio. Uh, $1,000 divided by $300 equals to 3.33. This means that on an average, the business makes about 3.33 times more money their whole time as a customer than it costs to get that customer. As an online seller, it's crucial to grasp the different CLV to CAC ratios to make smart choices for your business. 
The first is CLV to CAC is equal to 1. This means the money spent to get a customer equals the customer brings in over their lifetime. But it's not really breaking even. You are actually losing money once you consider all the extra costs like taxes, shipping and more. Next is CLV to CAC less than 1. When the CLV is less than the CAC, it shows that the brand is spending more to get customers than those customers are worth over time. It's a red flag because it means the business might not last. To fix this, you would need to rethink how you attract and keep customers to lower the cost of getting them. For example, you could improve ads to get more people to buy, offer special deals to keep them coming back and give top-notch customer service. This could boost the ratio. Next is CLV to CAC greater than 1. If a business uh, business's CLV to CAC ratio is more than 1, it means it makes more money from customers over time than it costs to get them. This is great news. It shows the business is making money and is good at getting and keeping customers back. So uh, a ratio of 3 is to 1 is often seen as a good target for online businesses. It means the business is making a good profit and still has money to grow its customer base. Investors like seeing uh, this number before investing in a business. Before you try to make your CLV to CAC ratio better, it's good to know what things affect these numbers. Uh, there are different ways to make the ratio better, but which one you pick uh, depends on what's going on in your business. So uh, first is customer purchase frequency. How often people buy from your online shops uh, affect how much they are worth to you over their whole time as customers. If they buy a lot, they are more loyal and are valuable to your brand, which makes your CLV go up. For example, think about a beauty brand that offers a monthly makeup box subscription. People who sign up for this every month add more to the brand CLV than those who buy just once. Next is recurring business model. Online shops that make money regularly like uh, subscription services have an easier time guessing how much money they'll make. This makes the CLV to CAC ratio higher because uh, they spread out the cost of getting customers over many sales. For instance, a beauty and skincare brand called Fresh does this. They offer customers a deal where they get a discount if they sign up to get their products sent to them regularly without having to reorder. This keeps uh, customers coming back and makes the CLV to CAC ratio go up. Next one is uh, customer average order value. Knowing how much customers spend on average uh, each time they buy is really important for figuring out CLV. Businesses that sell pricier stuff and have a higher average order value usually have a better CLV to CAC ratio. That's because uh, they can make up for the money they spend getting customers more quickly. For example, uh, think about an electronics brand that sells expensive gadgets like smartphones and laptops. These brands often have a higher CLV to CAC ratio because people spend a lot on each purchase. Next one is customer retention and churn rate. How long a customer sticks around with your business makes a big difference in the CLV to CAC ratio. If you can keep customers for longer, uh, they'll spend more over their whole time with you, which boosts the CLV to CAC ratio. But if lots of customers leave quickly, that's called a high churn rate. It can hurt the CLV because they don't stick around long enough to spend much. Now that you know what affects the CLV to CAC ratio, let's talk about how to make it better for your business to grow. It's important to remember that making the CLV to CAC ratio better isn't simple. It needs a smart plan that both uh, you know, boosts how much your current customers are worth and cuts down on how much it costs to get the new ones. So here are seven ways to do so. Uh, first is launch subscription. Subscription plans or memberships uh, where people pay regularly can give your business a steady income and make customers stick around longer. When people subscribe to your products, they are more likely to stay with you, uh, which means more money for your business. But it's important to pick the right option for what you sell and who your customers are. 
for example if you sell uh, things uh, people use up quickly uh, like food or household items a subscription plan might work well or you could offer a uh, special perks to people who pay to join a membership program a good example of this is savage uh, fenty a laundry brand by rihana they have a vip membership where members get cool stuff like discounts early access to new products and special uh, laundry sets so this is a great way to boost clv and make the clv to cac ratio better for online stores next is create a community building a community brings together a loyal and interested customers who share common interests or concerns doing this right can bring lots of benefits to online shops for example loyal customers who feel connected to a brand tend to buy more and spend more each time which boosts how much they are worth over time and keeps them coming back plus they are likely to tell their friends about their brand This kind of word of mouth advertising uh, doesn't cost anything and brings down the cost of getting new customers a lot. A great example of this is uh, Pura Vida uh, bracelets, a brand for young people. They sell special uh, bracelets where all the money goes to good causes. Over time, they have built a community where people feel good about buying from them. they have reached lots of customers without even needing ads next one is cross sell using product bundling a uh, cross selling is when you offer customers extra stuff that goes with uh, what they are already buying it's a great way to make more money from each sale for example if someone is buying a tv you could offer them a deal with a sound system a wall mount and cables all together for a better price cross selling uh, boosts how much people spend each time they buy and makes them more likely to come back for more on the other hand upselling is when you try to get customers to buy a fancier version of what they are already looking at for example if someone's checking out a basic iphone you could show them offers for a fancier model with more storage or a better camera so upselling makes uh, people spend more each time and makes them happier because they are getting something better next one is improve the checkout process lots of people start shopping online but don't finish buying this is called cart abandonment and it happens to about 7 out of 10 shoppers worldwide it means businesses uh, lose money and waste time on marketing that's not good for the clv to cac ratio to stop people from leaving without buying you can make the checkout process better with these tricks use one page checkouts to make uh, buying faster give people a uh, different ways to pay uh, tell them clearly about shipping show them things that make them trust your website like badges that say uh, it's secure or reviews from other customers make sure the checkout uh, page loads quickly you can also use things like pop-ups emails or ads to remind people about their cards and get them to finish by next one is create a referral program referral programs are like making friends with customers they help more people know about your brand get more customers and spend less money on getting them for example uh tyler uh, sells phone cases and um cool gadgets they have a referral program where customers can share special codes with friends if someone uses the code to buy something the person who shared it uh, gets a 10% reward and the friend gets a discount on the first buy this helps stylists get and um you know keep more customers and make their clv to cac ratio better Also prioritize high CLV products on advertising. Look at what products people buy again and again from your store. These are your best products. Focus on advertising them uh with uh PPC advertising to make more money overall. Uh when you advertise your best products they do even better in the search results without ads. Uh this means you'll spend less on ads over time and make more profits. 
I also invest in content marketing. Content marketing is really important for online shops to grow well and last a long time. It's about giving your customers interesting stuff that makes your brand look good and helps people know about it. To do this right, you need a plan that includes things like creating web pages that show up well in the search results, writing blog posts that teach people about products related to what you sell, uh, making podcasts or videos that people enjoy watching or listening to, uh, working with famous people online to talk about your brand and share cool stuff on social media. When you use content marketing well, your customers uh, will like your brand more and come back to buy again and your CLV to CSE ratio will be better. So online shopping is all about keeping customers happy. To do that, you need to get new customers without spending too much and make sure uh, they keep coming back. The CLV to CAC ratio helps you see if you are doing a good job at this. It tells you if you are spending the right amount to get customers who stick around and spend a lot. But it's not the only thing that matters. You also need a good partner and uh, tools to help you get the most out of your business. And that is where Seller App comes in. It offers a complete set of tools to help online shops like yours use data to make smart choices about everything from finding customers to keeping them happy. Our team will work with you to make plans that fit businesses and get real results. So reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com and let Sellerapp help you succeed in the world of online shopping. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you want to see more uh, detailed guide videos, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!